All right, we're here in downtown Austin at the uh, OpenStack Design Summit, and I'm sitting here with Rick Clark. Rick, how are you? I'm good. It's, it's great to talk to you again, Barton. So you're sort of the, the MC here, and, and you're doing a little bit more than just, just that. But can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing at Rackspace now? Um, yeah, so I am the uh, project lead and chief architect of the OpenStack Compute Project, which is a, a, a fully open source um, in fact, more than open source, we're, we're open in, in every way, which we might discuss later. <laughs> um, uh, infrastructure as a service project. And so um, you have some background in the open source space. Where were you right before Rackspace? I was, uh, I was at Canonical, and I was the engineering manager for Ubuntu Server, and I also did uh, security for the Ubuntu distribution and uh, all of their cloud and virtualization. And so as we look forward now to, to rolling out the OpenStack project, we're right at, at the very first design summit now. What are some of the principles from Canonical that you've, that you've picked up that you're, that you're taking over with you and you want to implement here? Well, you know, openness. Well, there, there are a few things. First of all, I, I think having someone at the top that, that can make decisions so you don't end up as a community just arguing. So having a process for making decisions fairly quickly um, was good, and that's one thing that the Ubuntu community has. The Ubuntu community has one of the most uh, vibrant, healthy open source communities that, that I'm aware of. Um, and their, their whole community model um, is, is wonderful. So I've basically just, I've just stolen it. <laughs> so you, good stuff. And so you're going to have, um, you're going to do regular six-month releases, is that yes, correct? Yes, And then you're going to have something like a UDS, like the U Ubuntu Developer Summit. Yeah, before every release we're going to do that. And, and we're, we're also going to have um, some, some, a technical board that has community representation. We're going to allow the community to be involved in decisions. And we're going to let the, we're going to let the community really help drive the project. And so what are your, uh, your goals for this, this event this week? So the event... The, the, the goals for this event are to announce, you know, what we're doing to everyone, that, that, uh, that Rackspace and NASA are combining what they, the, the two projects they've been working on to create this greater open source uh, cloud project uh, called OpenStack, and to develop a roadmap for our first release and to spec out the software. And then the last two days we're actually going to prototype and, and actually hack on some of that stuff. Oh, very cool. Now, uh, the license you went with is Apache, right? Uh, yeah, Apache uh, version 2, yeah. And why did you, how did you come about choosing that one? Well, it was, uh, you know, we looked at a lot, and, and, and there, were, there were reasons. It's more like there were reasons we didn't choose some of the others. But th it ended up being the license that, that business liked, legal liked, and was acceptable to the open source people like myself. Because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's GPL v3 compatible, the uh, Debian free software guidelines com compatible, um, it's OSI uh, compliant, so it, it, it's, it's a pretty good operating system. It is non-copy left, so um, the business felt that that would uh, that uh, a pure copy left or something like a Pharos would would actually limit uh, adoption, and so I, I think it's it, it's a good compromise. It's a, it's a good license, and and I, I don't think there'll be any any sort of issues around it. It's it's a pretty well accepted license. Okay, and then on the in the the standard of APIs, what what kind of API are you going to use? So we're we're obviously going to use the Rackspace API. So the official API, the canonical API for for OpenStack, um, is going to be Rackspace, which which we already released in Creative Commons. It's already open. We as part of a process, we uh, we involved community when, when we created it. So we'll just extend that. And now as an open source project, you know. We're, we will accept other work that people want to give us. So if people want to support other APIs, you know, they can write that and, and, uh, and we'll accept that in the project. Right now, the NASA, when they, when they were writing their original code for Nebula, uh, which is the basis for the compute project, they initially supported the Amazon uh, AWS API. Um, they, they started, before we actually talked to them, switching to, uh, to Rackspace, and so some of that work's been done, but we'll be writing that for the first release, the Rackspace API. And then last but not least, can you talk about, at a high level, the core principles? Yeah, the, the core principles are uh, open, open, open. Uh, so um, it's open source, and that means not open core. That means everything we do is going to be open. We're not going to limit functionality or scalability or performance in any way. Um, open development, that means that we, you know, we're not going to drop a tarball on you at the, at the very end of our release, and you have to figure out what doesn't work in your implementation. Uh, open design, which means you can be part of creating the vision, and open community, which means you, you can be part of defining even the community and the governance around it. So th those are our core principles. Excellent. Well, Rick Clark, thank you so much, and uh, look forward to following this as it develops.
Thank you, Barton.